Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this hat for boys between five and six years old. Now you can also make it for girls. Here I made it to match this sweater that I already showed you. If you want to see this tutorial, just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it will take you to my main channel page. You'll find the tutorial there. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this medium number four yarn. I'm going to use two colors. For the brim, I'm going to make it in this dark blue color, and then for the rest of the hat, I'm going to use this yarn. Now, I'm using, I love this yarn. This one here is called, I love this yarn print. This is in the color Crystal Brush. Now, for the navy blue, this is the same brand. It's called, I love this yarn tweed and this is in the color navy tweed now like i said i'm going to make my brim in the navy color but i'm going to show you here in this lighter color um, it's easier to see so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to chain seven one two three four five six seven if you want your brim to be wider then add more chains now in the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet and one single crochet on each one of the chains so that at the end of this first row, I'm going to have six single crochets. Let's see, that's five and this is six. So I have six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now turn, chain one, and we're going to do the same thing, but we are only going to go through the back loop of every single crochet. So beginning into this first one, make your first single crochet, same thing into the next, and so on. So that's three, four, five, six. Turn, chain one, and repeat insert your hook through the back loop of the first single crochet into the next that's two three four five six turn chain one and repeat you're going to do this for about 56 rows i already have mine ready I have 56 rows here. It's measuring, let's see, it's about, let me see how much it measures. It's measuring about, let's see, it's about 16 inches, which is almost 41 centimeters. So if you're off by a couple centimeters, more or less, it's okay, just continue. This brim here is very elastic, so it's okay. So now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to join both ends like this. So insert your hook through the first stitch here and through and grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one. Now insert your hook again into the first stitch here and through the first single crochet here in the back, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Insert your hook again into the next stitch and into the second single crochet here in the back, and again, another slip stitch. This is how I'm going to join both ends, so continue, and I will meet you back once this part here is done. Okay, I finished joining both ends, and this is what it looks like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work half double crochets here along the top, so to do this, I'm going to chain one. And beginning here into this first row right here, I'm going to make my first half double crochet into the second row make one more half double crochet into the third row make one more half double crochet into the fourth row make one more half double crochet and into the fifth row make two half double crochets so we're going to increase every fifth row so here i have one two three four and into the fifth two half double crochets again we're going to work one half double crochet into the next row. That's one, two, three, four, 
and into this fifth row, make two half double crochets. This is how I'm going to continue all around this part. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this row of half double crochets. Up to here, I have 66 half double crochets. Now, I still have one more row. I'm going to skip this row, and I'm just going to go here on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, I'm not going to do one stitch here, like I said, because I want to make sure that this row here of half double crochets has an even number of stitches. If I were to add one more, it's going to throw off the next row. So I want to make sure that this row here has even number of stitches. So you can easily make this hat also in any other size. Just make sure that the brim is in an even number of rows and the row of half double crochets has even number of stitches, just like I do here. Now, I've cut my yarn here, so I'm just going to grab a loop here with this new color. Just insert your hook again into that same stitch, grab a loop here and make a slip stitch with the loop that I had on my hook. Now pull this blue color here Perfect. Now with a new color, I am going to chain one. Now I have the first half double crochet, which is the same stitch that I joined here to the top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to alternate between a front post double crochet and a normal double crochet. So this first stitch here, I'm going to work into a front post double crochet. On top of the next, make a double crochet the next half double crochet work a front post double crochet on top of the next make a double crochet and the next half double crochet work a front post double crochet this is how i'm going to continue for this first row you're just going to alternate between a normal double crochet and then a front post double crochet normal double crochet front post double crochet and so on Continue and I will meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 66 stitches all around. Now from here on, we are always going to have 66 stitches. Now to finish this row, we're going to go on top of the first stitch. In this case, it's a front post double crochet. So I'm just going to join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one. And here, what we're going to do is the opposite of what we did on the previous row. In the first row, what I did was work a front post double crochet and then a double crochet. So here I'm going to begin by making a double crochet on top of this first front post double crochet and then this double crochet that that follows here I'm going to work into a front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next front post double crochet into the next double crochet on top of the next front post double crochet into the next the stitch here consists of basically just working front post double crochets all of the normal double crochets that we did in the previous row and then the front post double crochets that we did in the previous row you just do a double crochet on top and that's how you create this stitch here now continue like this all around and i will meet you here at the end of this second row I'm here at the end of this second row. My last stitch here is a front post double crochet. Now to finish, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now from here on, these are the two rows that we're going to repeat. You're going to either start with a front post double crochet or a normal double crochet on top. Now in this third row, I have to start with a front post double crochet because in the second row, this was just a normal double crochet. So here for the third row, chain one and then work this first double crochet into a front post double crochet. Then the front post double crochet that we did on on the previous row right on top you're going to make a normal double crochet then a front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next this is how i'm going to continue for this third row and i'm going to just continue and repeat these two rows for the rest of the hat the important thing here to remember is that 
the row where you do the normal double crochets in the next row you work them into front post double crochets and the front post double crochets that you do in the previous row you work just a normal double crochet on top that's the only difference between these two rows so now i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue watching and i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row Okay, I'm here at the end of the 12th row. So in total from here up to here, there's 12 rows. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 10, 12. And it's measuring from this last row to the bottom here of the brim. It's measuring about 18 centimeters, which is about seven inches. Now, what I'm going to do here in the next row is I'm going to reduce. So to do this, we're going to chain one. Now, my first stitch here, I have to work a front post double crochet so i'm going to do that now into the next two this is what i need to do i need to do a double crochet here and a front post double crochet so yarn over go on top of the first stitch and make your double crochet but don't close leave two loops yarn over again go into the next stitch and work your front post double crochet here you're going to close through these three loops so that you close the double crochet and then the front post double crochet so this here becomes a reduction so one stitch now again yarn over into the next two on top of the first make your double crochet don't close leave two loops yarn over go into the next and work your front post double crochet where you close these three loops again yarn over go on top of the next double crochet make a double crochet don't close leave two loops yarn over go into the next and work your front post double crochet and close and this is what it looks like again yarn over go on top of the first stitch make a double crochet but don't close leave two loops yarn over go into the next and work your front post double crochet and close this is how we're going to continue all around i'll meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of this 13th row here to finish i'm just going to work one last double crochet here at the end now to finish we're going to go here on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finished the 13th row with a total of 34 stitches all around now for the next row we're going to chain two and into this same stitch here insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off leave two loops on the hook yarn over go on top of the next stitch take two loops off three loops on the hook close here we're going to reduce so yarn over again and into the next stitch grab a loop take two loops off leave two loops yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch take two loops off three loops close again we're going to do this for each one of the stitches here so continue like this and i'll meet you here at the end i'm here at the end i have 16 stitches all around to finish go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch now if you want to close your hat as it is you can i think i'm going to do one more row reduction i don't want this part here to be too bulky here at the top so i'm just going to chain two and then insert my hook into the same stitch here take two loops off yarn over go on top of the next take two loops off three loops close and then repeat the same thing take two loops off yarn over take two loops off three loops close continue all around and i'll meet you here at the end okay i'm here at the end here to finish we're just going to go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch and this part here is done now i've cut my yarn so i'm just going to pull this loop here like this and i'm just going to tie a knot now here i'm just going to pass this yarn through this through this needle and i'm just going to weave this remaining yarn all around the top here Now I'm just going to pass this through the inside. I'm 
and just pull this yarn here to close the top. Perfect. And now just tie a knot here. Now just cut your yarn and hide your ends. And then this part here I still need to hide. I'm going to do that after. So here's the finished hat. That's what it looks like from the top. And there it is, it's all done. Now, my son wants a pompon. I already have one here ready, so I'm just going to attach this here to the top. Now, to make pompons, it's very easy. All I do is just wrap it around my fingers, I don't know, maybe 100, 150 times all around, and then just tie it here in the middle and then shape my pompon. I already have a tutorial on my channel on how I make my pompons. I'll leave the link down here in the information box so that you can see how I do my pompons. So here, I'm just going to pass one end here on this side, and then the other on the opposite side, right about here. And then just tie it. And just hide your ends and hat is done with the pump on. There it is. So now I have a hat to match the sweater that I showed you for boys. This one here. I'll leave the link to this tutorial down here in the information box. So here's the matching hat. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.